We have an agreement between Internet2 and Hewlett Packard in conjunction with their partner, SHI International, to provide the first customized infrastructure as a service community cloud. We've all heard of private clouds. We all have uh, heard of public clouds. Well, this is going to be a community cloud where the services, the features, the function, the pricing is all designed for the Internet2 community. Uh, we are very pleased to be able to present this today. <clears throat> we are going to begin uh, almost immediately a pilot period of about four months where four university members of Internet 2, Notre Dame, Penn State, Utah, and Indiana, are going to be bringing real applications to this cloud. We are going to be working with SHI in connecting their data center to the Internet 2 network and also with their engineers on incorporating the in-common federated identity management. So that again, we will be leveraging all of that, all of that you have come to recognize as part of Internet 2. We're going to be testing applications focusing on high performance computing such as research in genomics but also big data applications, some administrative applications, and even using the SHI cloud as an adjunct to a private cloud, so making sure those connections work. And this is what uh, universities have signed up to do, and, and I want to certainly thank all of you who have been participants in the pilot program and for all of your hard work yet to come. Um, <clears throat> One of the things that's going to be particularly important is to understand and determine whether the community cloud has the characteristics in terms of performance, in terms of security, uh, in terms of features uh, that are going to be important to the Internet 2 community. And to be able to do that at a price that is also going to be valuable to the Internet 2 community. So as as these pilots are going on, we're also working with HP uh, to understand these aspects of providing a community cloud service, which is going to make this a very successful offering of NetPlus services. Uh, at this point, I'd like to uh, bring up to the podium uh, Larry Singer, who is uh, Hewlett Packard's Vice President uh, for Government, Education, and Healthcare. Tai Lee, who is the CEO of SHI International, and Henry Fastert, who is the Chief Technologist at SHI International. And while they are assembling, uh, I would also like to introduce by video uh, someone whose name should be familiar to you in the audience, someone who has, be has become a uh, figure in Silicon Valley and in her new role at Hewlett Packard has already shown a great interest in uh, teaming with Internet 2. Uh, Meg Whitman, uh, CEO of, it's Hewlett, gone again. of Hewlett Packard, uh, is uh, live <laughs> on the West Coast <laughs> as we uh, work out our video here. Uh, and there you are, Meg. Welcome to Internet 2. <laughs> well, great. Well, thank you for that introduction. And hello, Jerry, Dave, Larry, Ty, and Henry, and all of you attending this week's fall Internet 2 member meeting. I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person. As I'm sure you can appreciate, when you're about a week into a new job, there's an awful lot going on and a few things that are keeping me close to home right now. But this is one event that I really wanted to be part of, so I'm glad we were able to figure out a way for me to join you, at least virtually. You know, higher education and the research community are such important issues for me personally, for HP, and for the world. It is the engine of innovation, prosperity, and the global economy. And I am thrilled that HP is teaming with Internet2, the world's leading universities that are its members, and SHI. 
Together, we can provide the power of readily accessible shared resources and collaboration tools that will enable the next level of innovation. This vision goes back to the original DARPA and the birth of the Internet. So we have the solutions to make that vision a reality and can make them available to the greater research and education community. HP, Internet2, and SHI are combining the extraordinary muscle of the world's first 100 gigabit Ethernet production network and the reach of cloud-based architecture with leading edge, high capacity connectivity and new applications that can manage huge amounts of information in real time. With Internet2, HP, and SHI are proud to help advance the world's leading research environment. We can share the massive data sets that may someday help us find a cure for cancer or identify macroeconomic trends that can help us build more stable economies or analyze patterns of activity to provide better security for people across the globe. At HP, we're honored and committed to be associated with such esteemed institutions at a time and in a way that aligns so perfectly to our vision of harnessing the power of information to improve how people live, how business operates, and the world works. I want to thank Internet2 for giving us this opportunity to participate in a truly groundbreaking effort. So enjoy the morning, and please know that I'm looking forward to great things from this initiative, and I hope next time I can be with you in person. Thanks so much for asking me. Thank you. Thank thank you. Thank you. We are, we are very pleased that you were able to find a few minutes in your first week on the job, and we understand this is one of your first public announcements, so we're very pleased that you were able to be here with us at Internet2. And at this point, uh, let me turn the mic over to Larry Singer from HP. Well, I want to thank you all for the opportunity to get me in front of my new boss. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, the, the timing really couldn't have been better. Uh, Shell knows, and, and Dave knows, and Jerry knows, we've been working for quite a few months, and many of you, with many of you, to try and get this pilot off the ground to do this customized uh, cloud activity. And let's just say we've had some challenges and distractions within Hewlett Packard uh, at a leadership level. And I, I think it's also important to talk about the evolution of cloud. The concept of private cloud is fairly easy to digest. Uh, people can build the infrastructure, uh, change the way they operate internally. Public cloud, uh, for those who have uh, excess capacity, make it available, uh, we've all kind of played on there, is also an interesting game. But community cloud, putting together an environment intentionally for collaboration, uh, using enterprise applications, research, has uh, become an interesting task, and putting together the full and robust environment to make that work has been quite a challenge. At HP, we've been working very hard on the hardware and software infrastructure to make cloud work, but as you've read in the paper, we're undergoing a little bit of a transition from uh, transactional IT infrastructure to higher value, value-added services. And it really takes leadership in the organization to make that happen. As we've gone through, I think, three CEOs since Shell and I began this work, uh, finding the leadership and sponsorship has, has been uh, difficult. And as we talk about the difficulty of working with this community, that difficulty comes from the mission of this community, and that's innovation. Innovation comes necessarily from diversity. And building a community cloud or an infrastructure that supports a diverse community whose focus is innovation proved to be quite a challenge. Uh, I've been working with this community for most of my life. Uh, as I was working within HP to find a partner to work with, uh, we, we, we tried various corners, the former EDS group, our strategy office, our public cloud group, and I never found one that I felt very comfortable bringing to this community until I met with the team from SHI. Uh, SHI has put together a team of engineers and researchers, many of whom come from HP Labs and HP Consulting, many of whom come from Bell Labs in New Jersey. Uh, so they have a tremendous uh, history of research and innovation uh, and have put together a team and a infrastructure that matches very closely with the requirements that we've been working with Internet to for a customized environment for this cloud. As I've been working with them, I've gotten to know them better. Uh, Ty Lee, who's their CEO and president, 
uh, and I have met uh, now several times, and I found that we've, our careers have crossed uh, over the years, and we've never quite connected. Um, she was at the business school, I was at the Kennedy School up in Cambridge. She knew where to make money, I knew where to get politics. Uh, <laughs> We were at Procter & Gamble early in our careers where if any of you know Procter & Gamble, the place to be is soap and paper and she was in paper and I was the Crisco kid, so the wrong end uh, <laughs> of that as well. Uh, but as we've come together, I think we've found an intersection point that uh, is really gonna add a lot of value to this community. And with that, I'd like to introduce Ty Lee uh, and our partner at SHI. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you everyone very much. We're deeply honored and very excited to have this opportunity to partner with HP and Internet2 to bring the next generation cloud computing. We're very excited. Our computing environment that we have created is not only flexible, but it is also very affordable. Many of the member institutions of Internet2 may know of SHI as a value-added reseller, or perhaps Microsoft software advisor. But throughout our 22-year history, we have worked very hard to bring innovative, deep value solutions to our customers, and thereby lowering the cost of computing for all of our customers. That is what we deep, deep, deeply believe in, and the cloud computing that we have just launched is an example of the value solutions that we are bringing to the marketplace. So I want to just say thank you very much and we're very excited and we're committed to delivering the best, best in class computing solutions for the member institutions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Larry and, and Ty. Um, we are going to be having uh, a lot more conversations and a lot more depth about the HP SHI Community Cloud Service. Uh, we've already had several detailed technical walkthroughs with people from a number of different schools represented in the audience, and now we're moving to the next stage with the four pilot schools. Um, we are going to be talking a lot more today about NetPlus services. Uh, at 1.15, we have a general session right here uh, where we'll be going into a broader discussion of all of the NetPlus activities that have been going on, as well as using that as a feedback session, another feedback session, to get more input from you on what our priorities should be. And as Shell mentioned, at 4.30 in room 301A, there'll be a demonstration of the box service. So um, on behalf of uh, all of us, um, I want to again thank uh, you and all of the uh, members of the pilot program. I think we all owe a debt of gratitude to Shell Wagner and uh, the leadership that he has personally provided and the time that he has taken to help uh, get this program off the ground. And now we're off and running and we'll be providing a lot more in terms of Net Plus services. Thank you very much, Dave. Back to you. Thank you very much, sir.